Hello everyone. I haven't done a video in a while and that's mostly because I haven't done any redstone in a while or any interesting redstone that is. I've done some like basic doors and stuff for houses I've built. But uh, anyway, new redstone update. Uh, and as you might see, we've mostly been messing around with TNT cannons. Uh, I also have some other stuff I might make a video about but uh, let's start with this little bad boy. Um, it is a rapid fire tiny little TNT cannon and it is such an amazing little thing. Look at that. It's just spamming TNT. I love that thing. Um, you turn it off by just breaking the redstone or putting like a, a block on top of the redstone to um, to uh, make sure the power doesn't get from there to there. Um, yeah, if you if you built this in uh, survival, you might want to do this thing with a piston, like um, put that block in place. Actually, it needs to be one further with a piston because it will actually hurt you. The cannon's pretty strong, so you could do. Well, actually, I need a lever for that. I thought you could place them on on there, right? But I guess not. There, that'll work. So you can do it, activate it from a distance, which you probably want to do because th these blasts will kill you if you're in survival. Anyway, let me show you how to build it. You start off by putting down three dispensers, all facing the same way, um, and you want to put a slab in front, because we're going to put water there so it doesn't blow up any blocks around it. Okay, like that. Then we're going to want to put another dispenser on top of that, which is going to actually dispense the TNT that we're going to fire. Um, redstone here and here. Then a torch on top of this bag dispenser. You want to crouch when you do it because if you don't crouch then you just open the dispenser. If you crouch you can actually place down torches. You do not want to put any TNT in here before you start building this because putting down a torch will actually activate the dispenser. So yeah, that will blow it up. Um, once you're done with that, you take a repeater, point it towards this back one, the back dispenser, and put it two ticks, and then build like a stone staircase kind of thing that goes up to this torch, and then put redstone there and there, and now it works, but of course there's no TNT in it yet, so let's just destroy that. I have this power tool which gives me TNT, because I've been using a lot of TNT. Don't need to fill it right now, we'll just do a quick demo to show that it actually works. There you go. At first it's going to collect up a few TNT because the bottom ones haven't um, haven't blown up yet, but uh, after that it goes into a nice stream of doom and destruction. Break it again. So basically the reason why uh, this design is so effective and w so small and doesn't blow up on itself is because of the placement of this torch and um, these two redstone pieces. So what happens is um, you can actually just power it with a button too. This whole thing, uh, this redstone wire, is just so it loops around and basically f it's a clock going through this repeater. Um, but just with a button works too if you want to do it manually. And that power goes into this um, dispenser block. And because it's powered by a repeater, it's actually strong powered, so the actual block is going to give off power to these uh, redstone wires on the sides, 
which are going to in turn power these side dispensers, uh, making so there's, there's going to be three TNT in the water, which is why it goes so far. And then, right now this is on, but of course it, it already sh shot TNT, so that it's on doesn't mean it's going to shoot again. It has to turn off first, which is um, like when these the bottom ones get get powered. Oh, I'm crouching. That's why it's not. When the bottom ones get powered, this goes off first, and it has to wait until it gets unpowered again for it to shoot the TNT. So you have to power the bottom ones before you can power the top one, which is why there is always going to be TNT in the water when you um, are firing the top one, because the top one is the only one that can actually blow anything up just to save it some water. So there's always going to be TNT to shoot it away, which is why this will rarely, if ever, blow up on itself unless you like mess with the design. Um, so yeah, that's basically the tutorial. Uh, you can stop watching now if that's all you wanted, but I'm going to show you some of the other experiments we've been doing. I'll just let that go. It's in the beautiful. Look at that. Um, this is another one of my creations. This is pretty much just overkill. Look at all of these things. It, it just looks like a lot of dispensers right now, but then there's actually a clock hooked up to it. God damn it, I broke it. Okay, be right back. I'll I'll go and fix this because it, it got blown up. And I'm back. So as I was saying, not only are there a crap ton of dispensers, this is a one tick clock which is going to uh, keep running for about, let's say, 12 ticks, uh, which makes it so that there's going to be about, um, I think, six times the amount of dispensers. I forgot, but I counted at some point, and I think there is 162 TNT being dispensed, assuming that all of it actually works, because I'm not, I'm not going to manually count it. It's just crazy. I'm assuming that it's 162 TNT. Let me just change my speed so I can actually show you the blast. Uh, okay. It's going to be pretty scary. It should be about 160 TNT. It's basically overkill because most of the TNT's wasted. And he just blew it up. I actually did that before I tried to do the same thing. Um, and yeah, I failed too. Um, this is um, more of a sniper type gun. It shoots one TNT. This is actually. Um, a design from Game Slayer. I, I didn't make this, but it's like extremely accurate and goes really far. Like, really far. This is, uh, I think we counted 180 blocks, and it's about accurate up to 5 blocks, basically. Actually, it might be a bit more. Looks like we hit one here. But it's pretty damn accurate. You could. 180 blocks is way out of um, render distance. So you wouldn't be able to see the TNT cannon that hit your house. Which is pretty crazy. So yeah. Um, we had some other failed designs here. This is my version of the sniper cannon. Uh, it's slightly less powerful, but still pretty accurate. It always sits on that spot right there. And I think that is about it for TNT cannons. So I'll probably do some other videos about other redstone stuff I made with the new update. And uh, I'll see you guys later, hopefully.